Welcome to the arthritis exercise class today brought to you by the St. Joseph County Commission on Aging in Three Rivers, Michigan. I'm Kathy with a C, A. Taylor. I'm the instructor today. Today we're going to be working our legs. So if you're one of those people that doesn't like to work the quadriceps till they burn, you might not want to do the class. But hey, it's just a few seconds. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be a good class. Um, you'll want to have some water to drink, something for your lips in case you dry them out because you're breathing in and out so much. You want to have a fan for circulation or some heat. Uh, basement floor temperature today is 63 degrees. I don't think it's going to drop. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, let's see, anything else I need to remember to share? Yes, Thursday will be total body at 11, and tomorrow is say yes to weights at 9.30. But today, right here, right now, is legs. Isn't that cool? All righty, I'm going to get a drink. I think I have enough stuff on my lips. I'll get a drink, and then we'll start. We're going to start out in seated position today. Oh, let me check the screen a minute. So we have Sharon and Sherry with us right now. Good morning, girls. <laughs> oh, I think I got enough exercise already. I was up and down the stairs quite a few times. Okie doke. Edge of your seat. Abs are tight. We're going to turn the head side to side. Stopping in the center. I think when I came down, it was partly sunny outdoors. Temperature is going to be in the 60s. I understand we're supposed to be warmer today than some places in California. Okay, let's take the ears to the shoulders. Don't be too aggressive. Nice and smooth. And stop. Let's put the feet in front of the knees. We're going to take the shoulders back and roll. Let's tap the toes. And I think in the recent weeks I found out that having my legs further apart than closer together when I do this is easier on the ankles. Yep. Of course, some days nothing's easy on the ankles. <laughs> okay, let's roll them forward. Bring the feet back and tap the heels. Pretty soon I'm going to have to start wearing shoes to teach. Oh my goodness, my feet are going to go, what are these? <laughs> and rest. Shoulders are going to go up and down. It's been, what, a year? Almost a year since I have, well, no, I shouldn't say that. In the fall, I did have my shoes on for a few classes. But, um... You know, how many of us have been wearing shoes in the last year like we did prior to the pandemic? Okay, stop. Let's lock the elbows in and do an external rotation. Okay, now, you may think I can't hear you breathe, but I need to hear you breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, now bring the arms up and down. You do know that if you breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, it relaxes the body. 
So currently we're doing something to warm up to move the body, not relax it, not make it sleepy. So breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And bring it down. Okay, let's foot slide. So basically, people have asked, well, can I breathe either way? You can, but see, they function in different manners inside the body, and the effects of the two types of breathing are different in the body. Now with this, you wanna make sure that your abdominals are tight. And then stop. Let's do a modified jack. And rest. Let's do a piano with the fingers. So I don't know if you're like me or not, but through the course of this pandemic, since there were restrictions on what we could do. I wore clothing indoors and different clothing outdoors. So, and most people probably did. You only dressed up to look <laughs> presentable if you went out. <laughs> Not that I wasn't presentable here, but anyway. Okay, let's make a change. Feet in front of the knees. We're gonna scrunch the toes and release. We're also going to do a cat scratch with the fingers. I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, people that have been in their homes for almost a year and wore a certain wardrobe might be really, really surprised when they go back out in public once they've been vaccinated and they feel safer. You know, you're still going to wear your mask for a while. Other people will too. But you're going to be out more and you're going to be wearing clothes that you might not have worn in a year. Okay, let's stop. Now think about that. Let's put the feet in front of the knees. We're going to swing the arms. Alternating. And it's really important for senior citizens to realize that Women in particular, after a certain age, they start um, <laughs> they start fighting the changes that the body goes through, you know. And so you might get a few inches here, you might lose a few inches there. Um, so if you haven't tried your wardrobe on, <laughs> and you're going to be out in public once it's okay, you might want to check that out and stop. Okay, feet back a little bit. We're going to bring the arms up. We're going to go under the body and up. And this whole topic that I'm talking about has to do with the fact that um, I don't wear shoes in my house. My feet have probably changed. Whereas I didn't have much of an arch in the first place, I probably don't have one at all now. Just saying. All right, let's stop and breathe. Okay, let's bring the right knee up. We're gonna bring it up as nice and tight as we can, okay? Gonna stretch the front of the knee. So if you didn't hear the latest recommendation from, I believe it was the CDC, the government arm said that for people that have had both shots after so many weeks, they can be around other people that have had both vaccines for both shots and they don't have to wear their mask. So that means you can have small gatherings of people that have all been vaccinated. Okay, release it and hinge. So whereas we thought there would be no end of this tunnel, well, 
there's a light shining somewhere off in the distance. So let's smile. <laughs> okay, flex and point. And then bring it down. Other side. Oh, give it a good stretch. Oh. Are you breathing? Just because I'm quiet doesn't mean you can hold your breath. <laughs> okay, release it. Oh my goodness. Hinge. And then flex and point. Check your abdominals, they need to be tight. That's one thing I'm gonna be looking at when we're all back together at the COA, when we're there, is how many people, you know, I can tell by looking at you whether or not you've been holding your abdominals in. So if you have been lax in that department, you might wanna start working on that. Okay, release. <sighs> Okay, let's do a heel dig. Get the legs warmed up. We still have to do joint check on the legs with a hamstring curl and a squat. Oh, while we're doing this, let's touch the tips of the fingers to the thumbs. And then stop. We're gonna separate. We're gonna step touch. We're going to touch the thumb to the base of the fingers. I just remembered a very depressing situation that I became aware of yesterday. Oh my goodness. I almost crumbled to the floor. You've probably done this before. <laughs> Maybe not. I just happened to talk to someone yesterday that it happened to. <sighs> Let's stop and be quiet for just a second. You've taken pictures with your telephone, right? Most people, I guess, have an app on their phone that saves their pictures. It's called a Google Picture app or something. Well, I didn't have that until yesterday. And apparently sometime recently when I was deleting a few pictures off my phone, the technician told me I might have held that too long and I deleted a lot of pictures. Oh, I was so heartbroken. Oh, just devastated. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Let's put the knees together and sidestep. So, in order to go on, because life goes on, you just have to, as George puts it, suck it up. You know, it's like, oh my goodness, I was just so upset with myself when I realized I might have done it. Well, now I've got the Google Picture Saver app on my phone. So it won't happen again. So any senior citizens out there that think they've got their pictures backed up on their phone, think twice. Better check it out. Okay, make a, uh, make a change. We're gonna do a toe tap behind. So anybody that needs to sit during the class, you can still do some leg workout while you're sitting, okay? Uh, the rest of us will be standing. We just have to modify these for people that use the chair. Okay, now make a change. We're gonna cross over behind. Let's do a fist, thumb in and thumb out. So devastation and depression loves company. 
You can share <laughs> if you've ever done something silly like erase all your pictures. Just type it in down there. <laughs> I would love to know misery, you know, company, the whole thing, you know. All righty, let's stand up. Watch. We're going to separate. We're going to look like an upside down Y. We're going to do a toe tap and a swing. Yeah, I guess that phrase is misery loves company and march. Well, I was sharing that experience with my friend yesterday. I dropped something off at her home and I told her what I suspected I might have done, which I didn't want to admit it. She says, well, somehow I erased a whole bunch of pictures off my tablet in the past. And I'm like, oh, great. So it does happen. Okay, we're gonna separate. We're gonna go into some squats. I feel like I have two huge baker cysts behind my knees right now. Not just one, the other one had to share. One shared, now they both feel like it. Oh, God. But you do know that if you have a baker cyst, and I know this from experience, that in the event that you're having an issue with it, do not stop, do not sit down, do not be immobile. You need to keep moving and then that baker cyst kind of, I don't know, I guess it dissolves. Okie doke. I'm going to put on some different music and we're going to start working our legs. Oh, did I hear a lot of clapping and screaming and yelling? Woo -hoo! Oh, I heard that too. Someone said in my imagination. <laughs> okay, no. Goodness, where's my music? There we go. All right. Okay, go. While I'm over here, I might as well get a drink. If you need one, get one too. All right. So I'm gonna move my chair out of the way because I don't have that much room. So if you can imagine a <coughs> dining room table that had six seats, that's what used to be here. So that's about the room, you know, with the room enough for the seats to come out. That's how much room I have. We're gonna do a heel day. Reach and pull, open and close. Almost as much room as I have when I'm in a crowded class that I'm teaching. <laughs> Sometimes it's been a lot less than that. And march. I remember one day we, we just had a, it was a fluke, it never happened before. We had 32 people in the old COA building in that room that we used for exercise, 32 people. And I was like beside myself. Separate, step touch. Swing the arms. It only happened once though. Some people came and they saw how I teach a class and they never came back. <laughs> I, at least I think that was it. Oh, maybe they saw someone in the class and they didn't like them and they never came back. Maybe it wasn't me. <laughs> okay, March. Okay, we're going to stop. We're going to take a leg like this. Got a little waist action going on. W A 
T-I-S-T. And march. We're going to do a crossover behind. Arms. This is really bad. This is the virtual music that I have to use when I do a video. I woke up the other day humming this kind of music in my brain. I'm like, oh, can I shut it off? <laughs> it's almost like listening to a radio station, you know, for a long time. These songs are part of my head now. March! Let's do a few more squats. Okay, so separate. Are you pushing your tush? Thank you. Do not let your knees go over your toes. When you come down, you breathe out. And march. Okay, you know what's coming. My hamstrings are hollering. Separate. Make sure you're not near anything you can kick. And use your hamstrings. Let's add a punch. Guard your face. And march. And just a reminder that when you're on the other side of the screen, you need to be responsible for what you're doing over there. So make sure there's no trip hazards and you're in a safe place, okay? Separate the feet. Let's breathe. Let's cool up. So if you isolate where you're feeling this, it's in the hip area. So let's loosen it up. And reverse. And stop. March. By a chair, bring it close and stand to the right side of it. Or behind it, wherever you feel comfortable, okay? Because you're going to be going up and down like this. Abs are tight. Working. The hips and the knees. And stop. Breathe. Okay, now if you have to have your chair near you, you want it in front of you now. We're going to do a hamstring curl with a crossover. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you, some people like it the other way. This is easier for me. But the other way is like this. This one's harder for me. So, I prefer to do it this way. It is really interesting how the body mechanics differ enough to make it comfortable for one person and not for another. Okay, let's stop. Okay, so the knees are still warmed up. Let's go ahead and do some more squats. Make sure that your knees are separated. Push your tush. Breathe out when you go down. And stop. Breathe comfortably. My 
lips are dry. Get your chair. I hear you breathing. <clears throat> okay, bring it in. Down. Point the toes. I thought maybe I found a diamond in the rough or something. Not in the rough, but in the carpet. There was something really shiny there. it and it was gone. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to my world. Okay, folks. This time we're going to go out and in and up and down, okay? Like this. Legos. <laughs> All right, that's the real good. 
reach across the body, open and close. Actually, I think I've got less Legos here than many years ago because my grandsons are into Legos and the granddaughters are too, they're sisters. And to be honest with you, I don't see any Lego containers over there. Wow. I'm sure their father knows where they're at. <laughs> okay, now that we've got them warmed up, we're gonna do some quadricep activity right here in the chair. And I know you're gonna love it. No, I'm not being facetious. We're gonna love this. <laughs> okay. Let's pretend. Okay, we're gonna go halfway up and down like this. Your abdominals are nice and tight. Remember, don't go too high. Okay, now we're gonna keep it straight. Bring it down and point the toes. Massage it out if you have to. Okie doke, let's do the other side with a smile. Up and down. Halfway. Now, if you haven't been feeling this, flex your foot a little bit more, and you will. <clears throat> okay, let's bring it up and down. Point the toes. This is like having a baby. You get done with it and you think, I'm never going to do this again. But then you come back to the class and you do it again. <laughs> and we're not through yet. The best part is yet to come. Okay, other side. Now this is the, what's the word, piece de resistance? <laughs> You're really going to feel this. Okay, right side. Now, if you have to, you can grab a hold of your clothing and assist yourself. But try not to, okay? Bring it up and up and down. Keep it up. Your abdominals are tight. They're off of your clothing. Think of something pretty, something nice. Maybe think of a garden with some beautiful flowers. And smile. Okay, we're gonna bring it down. Point the toes. Wipe that grimace off your face and smile. Oh my goodness, didn't that feel good? Oh my goodness. You gotta love it, huh? Okay, other side. Up, halfway up and down, with a smile, tight abs. We're good at what we do. Ooh. Tighten up your abdominals a little bit more, please. Oh my goodness, doesn't that feel good? I think somebody popped in or popped out. Okay, we're gonna bring it down. Oh, point the toes. Oh. We're 
We're all about doing it right in this class, huh? <laughs> that means that if you want to be sure that you're working that muscle group, you're going to feel it to some degree. Not a real intense pain, but maybe a joyful pain. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're still kind of, they're like a burning ember. There's still some inflammation in there. <laughs> Call it what it is, inflammation. Okay. I think we've done enough damage here. Let's get a drink. And we're gonna come back to stand up position by your chair, okay? Bothering me that year really bad. 
Oh my goodness. It was my worst summer convention that I ever went to. I was in so much pain. Get home, get a chiropractor adjustment, and it's all taken care of. Okay, let's bring it down and roll. Oh my goodness, that feels really good. Not. <laughs> Don't you just love my enthusiasm? All right. <laughs> We're gonna brace ourselves on the inside leg. And forward and back. Abs are tight. And if you wanna add a little balance to this, take your hand off the chair. Otherwise, don't. And then bring it down and roll. Did anybody see on uh, PBS the other night, River Dance 25? They were wanting memberships and they played River Dance 25. Oh my goodness. I was telling Mr. Taylor, they have to be light on their feet so they're not hitting the ground really hard. Balance, brace, support. Um, but some of the things that they did with their legs, if you've ever watched people that do dancing like river dance, they bend a real sharp knee bend to take their feet up behind them. And we crab about doing that. Yeah, <laughs> answering girl. I wonder how many of them have knee issues as they grow older. Okay, bring it down and roll. And a few years back, my daughter and I went to the Riviera Theater in Three Rivers and watched a group of little people, the children, that were already getting into that. You know, they, they kick their feet up and all that kind of business, and I'm sitting there thinking, what to be a kid again, huh? But you really have to be light on your feet to do stuff like that. All right, you're just waiting for this on you. Okay, we're gonna turn the leg like this. You look like a number four. It's not this one like this. It's this one like this, okay? We're gonna tighten up the gluteus maximus and release it. So you tighten as you lift and bring it down and release. Tighten, release, tighten, release. Your abdominals are extremely tight right now. They're just loving this. And trust me, the more you go back up in public all the time, you're going to want to have tight abdominals. So if you haven't been working on it, work on it now, nice and tight. We're going to take it up in the back and pulse it. Keep your tush really tight and pulse it. I could do this forever. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna bring it down. It's the bringing it down and bringing it up that I can't take. Okay, go ahead and roll. Oh my goodness. So this morning I was remembering, and I don't know if I read the whole article, but I was reading an article, somebody asked about this big bulge between the back of their knee, the leg and the other part of the leg like this. You thought I was just going to keep talking, didn't you? You're going off on an angle. Anyway, you're going to tighten that muscle group and release it. Tighten and release it. The person was asking how you deal with a baker cyst. It might have been in the camels if you said. Anyway, I remember, oh, I got to listen to this because I already have that. You know, a lot of us do. And I don't remember reading the rest of the article. Okay, bring it down and roll. But I, I think I can. I think 
what they did is they went into medications and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, please, do what I do. Just walk around and it takes a while. You know, you might only be able to walk sideways for 15, 20 minutes. But at least get up and move around. Okay, we're going to stand behind our chairs. Separate the feet. You're going to go up and down on your toes. Up and down. And trust me, you've probably experienced it. You step out of bed in the morning and you can't go any further because there's a baker cyst. It's just like it exploded out of nowhere in the back of your leg. <laughs> so then you think, in the future, you're going to think, okay, what did Captain the C tell me I'm supposed to do? Lift and hold it, please. Tighten up your abdominals and your gluteus maximus. Back to the baker's cyst. You need to keep walking. It is really painful. You probably can't straighten out your leg when it happens uh, or, or bend it. But uh, the longest I've ever had that issue was maybe half hour. But trust me, when it's gone, you think, oh, I don't feel it anymore. Okay, relax and bring it down. Roll. We are almost done, folks. Okay, now you have to make an adjustment here because we're going to be bringing the toes up and down, both of them together, and you don't want to hurt your ankles too much. So make sure you're spaced apart for you. And when we bring the toes up and hold them, don't push your twitch to the back. I want your body to just come up straight. Okay, let's hold it. Tighten up the abdominals and the gluteus maximus. Okay, bring it down and roll. Oh my goodness. We need to move our legs around. So I'm going to move my chair out of the way. Right there, it's in front of the heat. Right okay, let's march. So, I think I told the group already that it's total body for Thursday. <laughs> it was like 10.59 and I'm like, I need to go upstairs and check what's on the calendar. Separate. Step touch. There we go. Let's loosen all that stuff up. Travel. Okay, put the knees and the feet together. Side to side. Side step. And a swing. Travel. So if you do have some delayed onset muscle soreness later, I would suggest move around a little bit. It used to be we tell you to get a glass of wine and just relax. No, we never did that. That was just being crazy. Uh, we used to tell you to take a little dose of pain reliever. But now, I'm thinking that maybe it is across the board. Uh, we want you to move, massage it out if you need to. And then you can use a topical cream that's got maybe lidocaine or some uh, peppermint and lavender, things of that sort, on their march. And then if you need to, a low dose pain reliever. Separate, move away from your chair. Hamstring curl, this is our joint check. I know my joints are there, I can feel them. I wonder, Sherry, how's your uh, range of motion going on your knees? It'll be nice when we get back together soon that we can share all that information. March. Okay, another joint check. Separate and push.
Okay, I'm going to change the music. I'm going to dim my lights. <laughs> oh, and we're going to stretch. Keep breathing. Get a drink if you need it. Freshen your lips. Continue breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathe a little bit better than that. Thank you. I have such a vivid imagination that the closer I got to the tablet, I'm thinking, I bet I can hear them breathe if I really put my mind to it. <laughs> crazy is as crazy does, huh? I used to have, people called me crazy years ago. I used to date a fella and his sister's name was Kathy. So to determine, distinguish which Kathy people were talking to, I ended up being crazy. And then he called me that for the duration of our relationship. So I come by it naturally. Okay, we're gonna do the hamstring stretch. So you need to hang on, just have your edge of your Chair under the edge of your tush. You're going to lean forward. And you're going to feel that stretch more as you lean forward and your foot is flexed. The ankle. So um, they claim, and who they are, don't ask me. Um, that when children are younger and they have an active imagination, that they tolerate trauma and other things a lot better than children that can um, or that don't have that ability. And my mother died when I was young. And I think it was very traumatic. But you know what? I think while she was with me, she must have encouraged use of my imagination because I seriously think that helped me get through that. Okay, now relax your body, come on up, and then point your toes. So right now, the use of the imagination helps. Some people call it mindful meditation. <laughs> you just change where you're at in here. Okay, let's lean, oh yeah. happened in life and then you realized it was a dream. <laughs> yeah, people are shaking their head. Okay, come up and then point the toes. Okay, let's turn to the right. Cheek is off the chair. Knee is under the hip and you lean back. Oh, today's Tuesday. Yesterday I did a Fitness Becomes You class on my Facebook page. And I let people know that I got my first vaccination on Saturday. I really wasn't in a hurry to do it, but I did end up getting it done. Um, up till Sunday, early, early Sunday morning, no, Monday morning, 
my arm was still sore. And I was thinking, am I going to be able to do my class that I was going to do? He leaned back and feel that stretch. You know, when I got up to get up in the morning, my arm was a whole lot better than I got to teach my class or do my class. Okay, to come out of this, you're going to lean forward. I'm going to take that foot to meet the other. It's a whole lot easier to do this without shoes on. Cheek is off. There you go. And you lean back. So I did get my first vaccine shot. The gal that did it, bless her heart. When I tell people it must have been a micro needle and I didn't feel it, I asked her if she was done. Well, yeah, I'm done. <clears throat> Other people have their horror stories. And some people claim that the second shot you have more of a immune rush response, you know? And they brought out that if you have an overactive immune system, you're gonna feel the effects of the vaccine. Make it, you know, it's gonna make your body do what it needs to do. some of you don't like it but it's a good stretch because there's no other way to do this except laying on the floor effectively so you're into your chair you're gonna bring your leg up like this and your knee is gonna be your best friend so you're gonna bring it close to you and then you're gonna lift your cheek up off the chair and when you do you should feel those muscles in there engage <laughs> And to be honest with you, I don't know what to tell you if you don't feel it. Um, I just feel really bad that you can't enjoy this. <laughs> because we sit so much, we have to have this. So if you can't do this, you lay on the floor, and you take your right leg over your body to the left, and you just hold it there. You know, your knees bent like it is now. Or you do a twist. Or you can twist from the waist down both legs at the same time. If you're laying on the floor, your knees are up. And you just put both legs one way for a while, come back, come both the other way. Okay, now we have to come out of this. So you're going to relax first, and then very gracefully put your cheek back on the chair. None of this hurrying to get it done quick business. <laughs> <laughs> then assist that leg back. Okay, let's do the other side with a little bit more of a smile, please. <laughs> you can tell I like this. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are just about done. I don't like it when one side doesn't feel as um, inflamed is a good word. <laughs> it just doesn't feel as inflamed as the other side. But that's what it feels like. Okay, now you're gonna relax. Oh yes. You are so welcome. Now you have to get that leg back where it came from. And sometimes that's not a piece of cake either. Okay, don't edge of your seat. Separate and we'll be done after this. Oh, look at all those smiles. <laughs> okay, keep your back straight. Remember, I don't want your neck bent. I want you to stay straight. Come down. Oh yes, doesn't that feel good? Keep your head lined up with your back, please.
Okay, now relax. Lift your head back up. Set your hands on your legs. Lift yourself up. Bring your legs together. And just kind of do a little... Instead of standing up and doing a hula, we'll just do that and then go the other way. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I hope you enjoyed yourself today. Remember, tomorrow is 9.30 and it's uh, Say Yes to Wait. And Thursday is at 11, Total Body. And keep your ears open and your eyes. Um, with things changing in the state of Michigan, you never know when we're going to go back on on site, so uh, something to look forward to with the changing times, and and uh, maybe we'll see you there in a few days, a few weeks, whatever. So keep your ears open, check your email, check your Facebook page, uh, check this Facebook page too. Alrighty, be safe, be healthy, and toodles. <laughs>